retirement or star startup, but he doesn't seem to be intruding any other company in the same way that Stephen Elop is doing now. So he yes. seems to be just really proper, you know, deciding, okay, I'm, I'm done here, you know, I'm just done. Uh, and that's a senior uh, vice president. That that was a few days ago, but the person sent me a link from uh, Latvia yesterday, uh, just to make sure that I know. I don't I, I don't keep track of Microsoft so well anymore. So uh, also they killed a product uh, called uh, Hom. The Hom is in the uh, the measure in electricity. Oh yes, this was so, the the thing that was supposed to save you money or something in the home. Cause yeah, it something you green, yeah. Microsoft environment, something you know, think Microsoft green, good for the environment, something. That's yeah. that's all. It, I wasn't sure what it actually was, but did anyway. anybody use it? I, I never heard of it until I read that particular article. I, I wasn't sure what it was. I kept hearing, I saw some press releases about it. Uh, Google is apparently starting to do something similar, but I think it's just a whole bunch of just vaporware in some ways. But. While you mentioned Google, just very quickly, this is a message to Google, and before anybody says yes, I don't expect Google to be listening to this show, but I'm just trying to lighten the, lighten the mood. Google, I want my uh, Google Plus uh, registration to go through. I signed up uh, quite a few days ago, and I've heard nothing yet, so uh, I'm still waiting for one of these early invitations to to this new service. Per- of yours. Permission to give them your data? Yes, yep, completely and totally, because I want to jump on the bandwagon. Well, I already know your data. <laughs> I actually found, when I, when I log into YouTube, and I have to give my username to actually do anything useful, like even access my preferences, uh, and that extends to search, which I, I, I'm not sure it used to do that, and probably shouldn't be doing that. Mm-hmm. So even when I search now, I'm logged in as a person. Now, you probably know my IP addresses anyway, but still, it's, I don't know, it's, you know, every time you use a Google service, they would really link it with your. And in my case, they have they have things quite personal to me because I I use Google in a, uh, like even for quite a few years in my personal site in shustaweeds.com. Uh, uh, I had the AdSense thing, so they have like my bank account details, things like that. And, you know, and when you have as much as like people's in some cases perhaps MAC addresses and bank account details and everything and they also know what you're searching for and what you're clicking and where you move and what you're doing and who you communicate with and who's in your in your address book. That's a lot of data for one company to have. And even though if, even if they don't misuse this data, uh it does put them in a position where with the Patriot Act uh they could be uh asked to provide any bit of data they have to the government. And it means that the government of the United States has a lot of data on me that they don't even have to inform me if they access this data. So that's especially troubling if I depend on Google for you know, accessing a site of the European Union um, because that may have things like Google Analytics, which it did have before. So they get my data and they get to link to, they get to see what I'm doing basically with the government in, in a way. Cool. I mean, j- just to cl- I, I can't speak uh, for data held on U.S. Mach- uh, computers and coming under U.S. law. However, let's just look at the U.K. for a second. Um, there was a big thing made about um, data being requested in the case of uh, copyright uh, file sharing allegations. Um, and the important thing to know here is that when a uh, application to a civil court is made for your IP address to be given a name and your customer details, say for whatever I, um, ISP you're with. Um, Obviously, the user is informed, and the ISP would inform you, Miss, Mr. Shesterwitz or whoever, that we've had a request for your details as a result of the court order XYZ. Now, when you get to a court order from a criminal court, it's something entirely different. And people that have concerns about the government being able to access uh, data really would have those same concerns anyway, because if, if a court, a criminal court, is asked to grant a court order in order for your IP address to be given a, its corresponding name and subscriber details, then you would never ever be any the wiser until whatever the purpose behind that request was came to fruition. Um, and people often mix up the civil civil law and criminal law, especially in the matters you know, when we look at a case like ACS law, for example, and then we start talking about uh, the Computer Misuse Act, and they're two completely different things. Um, so, yeah, so I just thought I'd throw that in. But, Roy, before we go off the topic completely, predictions, 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 one prediction for this time next year, anything? Technology or in general? It can be, just anything IT related. If you'd like say some something about the economy or... If, if you'd like some, some time to think, I'll give you mine and then come back and give you... Uh, you can give yours. Well, loads of predictions. <laughs> okay, well, well give, give me one or two. 
your favourite two? <laughs> uh, probably have to restrict ourselves to technology. Uh, it's nothing to do with Linux, but... Um, well, what? but oh. well, you, you could make a prediction for just about anything of choice. So you okay. could ask me about Android or phones and desktops. Just, just a bit, I, just think, a bit I think considering the trends now we see with desktops and distributions for the desktops, I think something free... Uh, I think we're going to see a decreased amount of news about um, distros. That's my sad prediction. Uh, because uh, we have things like Android, and they aren't so free, and they increasingly become more relevant. You know, things like the shops of, of apps, whatever it is, you know, all kinds of stuff that doesn't do anything too useful. Uh, and then you have these uh, tablets and uh, I think that's just going to gain a bit more. So even though it won't take over just yet next year, I think we'll have fewer bits of news about the Fedora and Ubuntu, and already we have fewer of these. And I know that's just one of the reasons I also try to um, concentrate on issues like software patents and not indulge and concentrate too much on, on issues like uh, on each issues which are sort of volatile and bound to. Uh, become evolved to the point where they kind of evolve out of existence and uh, what Ubuntu is trying to do is to stay relevant in the age of tablets and uh, and they, they are, their main competition is not just Windows, it's even things like Google, so Android and so that's that's what I, that's my prediction for Linux. Linux is not going to be Linux, it's just going to be a kernel. It is going to be Linux, but it's not going to be Linux in the same way that we Think of it as the you know install Linux on your computer. It's not just it's just not going to be that uh, quite so anymore. It will be Project Linux, the kernel. Uh, and I could give you predictions and other things, but I, I just don't think it's just going to be on topic. So. Well, it was it was sort of a bit selfish me putting on the spotlight there because I have two predictions um, which I specifically wanted to bring up, and in order to make me seem fair, I thought well I'll give you the first go. So uh, my first prediction is this: people wherever you've read on the internet, um, whatever site is telling you, the PS4 will not be released this year. Um, I'm willing to put probably about just about all my credibility on that fact, and I'm going to really regret saying that. But the PS4 will not be released by the end of this year. Um, there's been a lot of silly stories about this, and uh, yeah, the PS4 will not come out this year. In fact, I would very much doubt we'd even be looking at this uh, Christmas next year either. Um, so we'll put that one to bed. That's PS4 not coming out. And That's second, a very easy one. I could guess that as well. They won't. They won't release and actually work and expose this and everything and market it within like three or four months. It's, um, so there's been a few rumours on the net, and yeah. it's, there won't be any. I don't think we're going to get mention of it till Christmas. So what's the predict? You have to predict something that positive. Yeah. Not the yeah they, well. Well, this is actually something quite quite worrying, um, and it's something I've been thinking about for a while, and it's something I wrote wrote about quite recently. Um, this time next year, I truly believe that we'll be seeing the beginnings um, and the pushing through um, the, the relevant parties of a law which is going to make it uh, an offence to leave your Wi-Fi open or not to take reasonable steps to secure your Wi-Fi connection. Well, what's to secure your Wi-Fi, and what's the actual meaning of well, it's secure, it's secure your broadband, um, your router. You know, you know, it's a euphemism that yeah. secure your Wi-Fi. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> it doesn't he doesn't need you to protect it. It's, it's just fine without you. The reason why I think this is the we've seen so many cases recently, both civil and criminal, but mainly on the civil side of things, where the open Wi-Fi. Uh, defense is pretty damning for any sort of prosecution in court. Um, it's unless you can specifically prove on on which date that certain person accessed you know, or used that service. Open Wi-Fi is probably one of the best defenses you could possibly have to any sort of allegation of copyright infringement or anything Maybe like that. Malware. Malware is another one. Yeah. Um, yeah, of, of course. You know, I didn't now, do it. Somebody else took over my yeah. computer. Yeah, I mean. Again, we've got the issue of the machine in question could be removed for, for more scientific examination to prove or disprove that, uh, that, that defense. However, the open Wi-Fi is one that can, after the fact, can never be proved or disproved. I mean, it just takes somebody to be walking past your, your house with a tablet or an Android phone and boom, they're on, they're on your connection. Um, and now you've put me off my train of thought. Yes, so, um, very good defense, um, very good defense for almost anything, especially in a civil court. And I think if you look at the UK at the moment, we actually have, there's an offense at the moment which says if you, uh, if you have your car parked on a, on a 
public road and uh, you leave the engine running with the keys in, you're actually committing an offence by leaving your vehicle. Now, that's, if you look at that piece of legislation, it doesn't make the open Wi-Fi